last night, I ate this whole bag of pretzels, and lived to talk about it. What's up guys, I wanna to talk to you today about what food group I like to call Domino Food. Okay, Domino Foods, you know, everybody knows the domino effect, right? You knock over the first domino, and it knocks over all the other ones, right? All that initial little push, and then bam, and all they go. So a Domino Food is one of those foods where you take one bite, and uh, it just kind of triggers that instinct to more and more and more. They're not filling, they're very calorically dense, so they're gonna pack a lot of calories without very much satisfaction at all, okay? So let me run through a list of Domino Foods that I typically see uh, that you need to be careful with. Uh, nuts and seeds. These things are jam-packed full of fats. Some of them are healthy fats, but you can't get them, all your fats from these nuts and seeds, okay? They're very, very calorically dense. So you're getting nine calories per gram of fat in these nuts and seeds. So be very, very careful. I'm not saying not to eat them, but these are what I call domino foods. So once you, how easy is it to go grab a handful of nuts, toss them back, and then go grab another one, okay? So one cup of almonds is gonna be like 850 calories or so, okay? So a cup, it's not that many. It's easy to sit there and eat a cup in a very short amount of time. That's a lot of calories there, guys, okay? So nuts, first domino food. Chips, crackers, things like that. Those are also domino foods, okay? You can't just stop. Even the Pringles, the old slogan used to be, once you pop, you just can't stop. It's exactly right. You're gonna eat that whole can of Pringles. I know, I've done it, okay? So uh, stuff like that, nuts, chips, um, like little snack cake things, okay? So uh, like the Debbie cake, obviously this thing, these things are so like calorically dense and packed full of just not even healthy fats. At least the nuts are gonna give you some nutrients. These things aren't gonna give you any kind of calorically um, nutrients, not, nothing really beneficial, okay? I preface that with saying you can find a way to fit those into your diet if you must have them, but be careful. Know who you are, know thyself. So if you're a good kind of person that goes in and grabs a Twinkie and then goes and to um, sit down on the couch or something, and then you know those Twinkies are there, you're gonna go back and eat that box of Twinkies is gone. I am like that, okay? I'm a very hedonistic, so if something's in the house that I um, have a weakness for or I get hungry, I'm gonna go down and get it. So I don't keep things like that in there, okay? Another thing, peanut butter. How, I don't know how many people, I would love to see a statistic that shows how many people actually weigh or measure out their two tablespoons of peanut butter. Two tablespoons of peanut butter are 300 calories. 14 grams of fat, a little bit of protein, but even you know nuts and seeds and peanut butter and nut butters and stuff like that aren't significant sources of protein because they're incomplete sources. They don't contain all the essential amino acids that you need um, from your diet. So peanut butter, I guarantee I'd be willing to bet nine out of 10 people overdo it on the peanut butter, very easy to do. I don't even keep it in the house anymore just because I know who I am. I know that I'll just get a big old spoonful and throw it on there. So um, breads and pastas, these are another domino foods uh, food group that is just so easy to overdo and they're going to pack such a caloric punch that you're just not going to be happy with yourself afterwards. So um, how was this brought up? I'll tell you how this was brought up because last night, this goes back to knowing yourself, right? Last night I got back late, I had to do some work and um, I had some of these in my, uh, I guess some of these for Easter, I had a little gift for Easter. Um, somebody gave me, a friend of mine, thank you very much, I very greatly appreciate it. Um, I had some other things in there too. So. I got these chips thinking I was gonna eat one. No, you know, I ate that entire bag um, while I was doing video editing. So I, I am not immune to this. I show this to show vulnerability because I'm not immune to these things either. It's not like I have the most ultimate willpower. In fact, I think willpower is very, very overrated. That's why the domino effect exists because if you had such great willpower, you'd be able to eat a handful of these or one serving, 15 pretzels. But not, not, not too bad, you get 21 grams of carbs, four grams of protein, five grams of fat. Not too bad, overall 150 calories. But you're not gonna sit there and eat 15 pretzels, are you? So don't lie to yourself and say that you are, okay? So that happened last night. I ate this whole bag of pretzels and lived to talk about it. <laughs>